All right, guys. I got something. I got something. Let's just have a look what we got here. Well, the story is like this. You know I flew eight kilometers to my holiday house and I landed on the terrace and there were quite some people who said, oh, you should have used because you wouldn't have had signal losses and everything. Oh, look at this. You know? It even looks better. This is like... People said to me, like, you need the circular antennas. They are better than... than linear than the straight ones than like this one so i guess they are right and i'm i'm gonna test that of course but what's even better is this it's boosted the only thing is i don't have batteries but anyway this goes in here that goes under the transmitter like this But then, where is the battery going? In case you did not understand yet, these are long range antennas. The website and the company is FPVLR, which stands for First Person View Long Range, and then .com. I need to see what kind of battery I need. Oh wait, I got another box. I got a memory over here. Ah, it is. And here is some instruction. The battery must be in the on position when charging. Super rechargeable. Oh, a Leon, it's not even a Lippo. It's not a Lippo battery, it's a Leon. And it has a charger too. ta -da. Wow, it can take up to eight hours. It has circuitry to prevent overcharging. So it means I can leave it on all night and tomorrow morning uh, it should be good. Now, let's see how they want me to connect all that stuff. It looks like one goes in here and the other one goes in here. Let's just put it on and see how that looks like. These little things are in the way. I have to stick the battery onto this but then if I want to attach it to the transmitter I have to take off the battery first like this rip it off then I can stick this one in here like that and then I can stick the battery back. But that means that every time I have to pack my stuff or prepare, I have to take this on, off, on, off all the time. So I'm gonna try to figure out if I can do it like in another way. So I can just put the whole part on it without having to remove the battery like this 
if the battery is here, I can just do it like, ta -da, and it fits. Thing is, the antenna is pointing down. I should have um, taken this off, of course, that was stupid. Two things. First, I think it's not completely through. It's cut here, but not the middle. So I think it would work, even if I do nothing. But all the wires around here half of them are cut so i don't think this is the best to leave it like this i'm gonna cut this open just to have a look inside because i think i can repair this the only thing that you might be able to do is do something similar like what they did just cut it away and solder the entire thing you see what I mean yep that's what I'm gonna do because the internal wire in here that is not damaged it's only some of this outer stuff so if I solder this similar like this then it's restored I put a a little bit of black tape on it and it's it's just fine it's going to be fine you see i'm sticking some extra wires to it to make it stronger like this I think it's good well as you can see it is repaired and um, no problem I think this is perfect. Like this. It was like this. And now I'm gonna put it there like this. I'm just gonna use some super glue like this. Perfect. Let it dry and to give it a little bit more strength I will even glue the amplifiers just like this not completely if I ever have to take them off again I will be still able to do that. Well as you can see you cannot even see that I changed something here it's completely invisible and it's very solid very strong 
it won't come apart so that's good so this, these are too short they are just too short but the problem is that I got my plugs on top of my transmitter and you would want to have them here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the transmitter and I'm gonna try to put these in these holes here In the other video I showed how you can remove the old antennas that are going like here and underneath here and then you put the new ones in place here and here and I glued them. I'm gonna remove the old ones. The thing is can I remove the old this glue? Yeah you see it's very easy. And that means I can remove these. You can just click them out like that. It's a little bit stuck here. So if I loosen this screw and I lift this a little bit, then it will just pop out. You see? And then I can put this one in place and then pop it in. I'll tighten the screw. Now I need to get this one out. ITE. Now that's easy. So I do need to make space for this one. You have to be very careful with this, that this does not break. These are very fragile um, cables. I'm immediately going to put this back. The big ring, small ring. And this one yeah this is very tight then we're gonna do the second one okay and then this can be like this I guess and I think it's good to put some glue over there I think I might be able to get in half of this so if I break this off, you see that fits in here. So I will use these to, to close that hole. nice I think that's all good then we can just put it together again make sure that this that this little thing goes through and then we'll just have to snap it back together again and that looks pretty good this is um, very difficult to get it back in I think it would be easier to just unscrew all of this just make these loose 
because these are easier to get back in. Then this one, maybe put some screws back first. You see, when this is loose, it's easier to get that thing in. You see, this this fits nicely now, and then you can put that lid back or maybe put these in first like this one two that's good put all the screws back All right, it's done and I even repaired my transmitter. So now um, my cables will fit. Okay, I'm going to stick the battery over here and I'm going to leave a little bit of space. It should be possible to pull it off. Yeah, it's not easy, you know, that's really difficult to, put, to get it off. Oh, wow. That's just... That one is stuck, I can tell you. These click in place. Now I can just click it on. Hoppa. And that's good in one move and then the only thing I have to do is attach the antennas like with the other one so I think we are ready to test this one there is one more thing that I would like to do all of it so I'm gonna Cut this away. Yes, like this, like that. And we can screw this in place so that the middle pin will make good contact. Now put this over it. And look how much smaller this is than it was. So now I also have a spare set of these. All I have to do is disconnect this one, disconnect this one. And I can take it off like this and in the same way I can put it on like this attach this one attach this one and we're good to go